how to YouTube. It's next year with a little video, an obligatory video, I guess, for any Linux YouTuber. Debian 12, yay! Break out the balloons and the party hats. Yes, it's uh, two years since the last Debian stable release. Time for the next Debian stable release. Now, Debian, I've been using solidly my main operating system since about 2017 when I switched from one of the Ubuntu flavors, Ubuntu specifically. I started using Debian and Arch, dropped Ubuntu and all of their shenanigans over the years. Debian has been a very comfortable place for me. I respin my own Debian respins, put them out on the net for people to use if they wish. Esnix OS is the project name. Maybe I should uh, hype myself here a little bit. Uh, go to SourceForge. Uh, hopefully this will go. My project, Esnix OS. Debian Stable Customize. So, updated the download site here. You can give my spins a try if you wish. Under testing are the KDE and the XFC desktop ISOs. And we'll look at the XFC one in a little bit. But I'll put this link. This link is always in the bottom of my uh, descriptions. So you'll get that if you want to play with it. Now back to Debian itself. Debian website hasn't gotten much better over the years. Debian 12, if you look at any of the other review videos, you'd think it was the second coming of Christ. Uh, you know, it ain't that big of a deal, but it's nice. It's very nice. Debian's always very nice. It's the most boring in the best way possible use of the word boring an operating system can be. Debian just gets better, stronger, integrates more software, newer versions, and each release is solid, reliable, easy to install. Not so easy to set up depending on your hardware because of drivers, firmware. Debian has tried to remedy some of that problem by integrating the non-free firmware into the newest release of Debian. In the past, Debian provided unofficial ISOs with the non-free firmware. Now they're providing the official ISO with the non-free firmware. To me, it ain't a big deal. Couldn't care less if they had it unofficial, official. Once you knew where to go to get the unofficial images, which was also on the Debian website, everything was cool. Now people are claiming Debian's the best because the firmware is now in the standard ISO. Really doesn't make a difference. To someone who doesn't know anything about Debian, maybe it makes a difference. To most people, who have used Debian, doesn't matter one lick. I don't care what any one of these YouTubers say. It ain't that big a deal. Now, if we go to download, we're brought to this page. We're offered the net install image. Now, a net install image is a small CD-sized image. You can burn it to a, a CD. You can burn it to a DVD and waste a lot of space. You can put it on a thumb drive. It doesn't really matter. It'll work. However, a net install CD will drag all of the files during installation off the net. So you do need a nice, quick, uh, reliable, and consistent network connection. If you have that, go for the net install CD. Small download up front. You're going to watch the uh, progress bar during installation go a little slower as you're downloading all the packages, but you're getting everything fresh. So another way to go is clicking on getting Debian if you want something other than the net install CD. You're given an option of a number of choices. The most important of which to most people is right here, complete installation image. You're now given some options about 
how to download those images. The first option is the most standard, HTTP, which is a web server. You're now given more options, stable or testing. If you just scroll down oh, too far, you're given an option of the small CDs again or the DVDs. If we go to the DVD, we're finally presented with the option, the offer for the DVD image, which is 3.7 gigs. Now, when all this clicking, I knew where to go because I've done this right before the video, and I'm used to Debian's weird website of one link after another until you finally, after 10 links, get to where you want to go. One thing I did notice is there was no mention of any live desktop images. These are all installer images. You're not greeted with a live running desktop to get a feel for the system before installation. If you want such uh, a live system, we're going to have to go all the way back to this page, click on Alternative Download Sites, and pick one of the mirrors. Now, I noticed I did this. Some of the European mirrors right now are not up to date. The US mirrors, at least the ones I looked at, were pretty up to date, had live images already. My suggestion, uh, if you're on the West Coast, osuosl.org is the open source lab run by the Oregon State University. Always fast, has been around for decades. Great host for a lot of different open source projects. Here we have a 12 live folder. AMD 64, ISO hybrids, and here we finally have desktop ISOs. We have Cinnamon, GNOME, KDE, LXDE, LXQT, MATE, Standard, and XFCE. Now these are three to four gig images, complete live desktop systems. Now these systems come with as a boot option, the Debian installer, or on the desktop, the Calamari's installer. So you have your choice of installation methods with these live ISOs. Now, if you like the Calamari's installer better than Debian installer, I don't know what to tell you. You're weird. But if you need either one or you want to just play with both, get one of these live ISOs. I'll leave a link to this particular mirror in the video description. Do you see what I mean about Debian's website not being all that good? It never has been. People think it's better now. It ain't that better. <laughs> it's not a, real, not a real grammatical sentence there. It ain't that better. So all that being said, let's take a quick peek at Debian's XFC desktop. Now, my ISO, I have themed it the way I like it themed. I have the window manager themed the way I like, the icon set I use. I've edited the panels. I've included the whisker menu instead of the standard menu. So all this can be done. You can make XFC look however you want. This is how I like it to look. My spin has my own collection of software. This is something you can do. You can install Debian and then put in your own software choices. Very easy to do. Debian, if you install the live ISO, you're going to get a lot of desktop software. Some people call that bloat. I don't know. Debian wants to include enough uh, software in their live desktops to make them usable. Now, that may be some usability you consider unnecessary. Therefore, excuse me, you might think it's bloated. One person's bloat is another person's necessity. You can start out with the live, uh, not the live, the net installer. 
and choose a desktop, you'll get a fair selection of software as well. Now you can also, um, what can you do? You can remove software once it's installed, or you can go with a base system and just build it up the way you want it. One reason I like spinning my own project, my own ISOs, is I choose the software I want, and therefore I don't have a whole lot of work to do afterwards. That's it, folks. That's Debian 12 for you. I'd go on Wikipedia if you don't know about Debian, read up on it. Look at some reviews, maybe. I don't know. Actually, don't look at some reviews because most of these reviews are crap. I've watched a couple, three of them. The only one worth anything, obviously, is DJWare. Everyone else can just take a jump in a lake. They're blah, 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 useless information. And even worse, some people like switch to Linux, get some stuff wrong all the time. It's just aggravating. So, you know what? You want to watch a video? Watch a video. Waste your time. Debian hasn't changed much over the years. It just gets better. And by better, I mean not better in the sense that 12 is so much better than 11. It's more up to date and it has more bugs fixed. And it has some security patches that 11 doesn't. That's about it. Newer software. <laughs> Debian, at its core, is a stable, reliable base for either a desktop or a server. If you want to read the release notes, uh, let's see. Why Debian more? Uh, release notes, release notes. I know it, it's got, it should be here, right? Documentation. You know what? Let's go back to download. I'm sure it was here. No, there it is, release notes. You can read through the release notes. Debian provides, always has provided, a lot of information in their release notes. Good place to go. Okay, that that's uh, that's the video, basically. Don't know what else to say. If you like Debian, you already know. Well, it's going to be good. If you don't like Debian, don't bother. Use something else. Take care. Stay safe. You'll see me in another one, folks.